Hello and welcome everyone. Today we'll get to know about the traveling salesman problem, a classic computer science graph problem. This presentation is brought to you by I Gargi B C and I Sadat Kekre. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the basics. What is a graph? Given two structures on the screen, which one do you think is a visual representation of a graph? The left one or the right one? Take a moment to think about it. And the answer is they both are graphs. The one on the left, commonly known as a line graph, is how we generally visualize the data in simple statistical regime. Whereas the one on the right is how we model the data in computer science world through a graph. The question still remains, what is a graph? Well, the answer lies in yet another question. Why do we need a graph? Graphs are basically data structures just like arrays, stack, linked list, etc. What graph represents or models is how objects or entities are related to each other. Such relations can be cause effect or hierarchy or even highly complex patterns such as genome sequences. There are about eight to 10 kinds of commonly implemented graph structures and each of those have their own capabilities and use cases. How can we miss the mathematical representation of a graph? Yep, that's how it looks. What it means is that graph G is a collection of vertexes or nodes V and edges E. Each vertex has its own unique name like V1, V2, V3, etc. And each edge is just a connection or relation between two vertexes. Hence, it appears as a pair. Have a look at these two structures. Do they appear similar in some fashion and yet seem like completely different things? Well, think about the similarities and differences among these two structures for a moment. Just think about it. Graphs and trees are somewhat similar with just a few fundamental differences. Trees have what we call a single root node and a few leaf nodes. But a graph does not confine to such rules. Root and leaf nodes of a graph are chosen as per requirement. Also, a tree can have backtracking for traversing purposes but does not have loops in its structure, whereas a graph does have loops to represent complex relations. Based on requirements and available data, graphs can be implemented in so many ways. Let's explore some widely used types of graphs. First, trivial graph. Just one vertex and no edge. There is really nothing to talk about here. Second, a null graph. It's basically a collection of vertexes and zero edges. Such graphs usually represent known entities with unknown relations. Third, simple graph. There is only one edge between two distinct vertexes. As the name suggests, such graphs usually represent simple relations between entities. Fourth, multigraph. Such graphs have capabilities to represent multiple relations among the same entities. There can be more than one edge between two distinct vertexes. Fifth, regular graph. If each vertex has exactly the same number of edges, that is, degree of each vertex is same, then such a graph is known as regular graph. Sixth, complete graph. Such graphs need to satisfy a base condition that all vertexes must be interconnected, but there can only be one edge among two distinct vertexes. 
Seventh, pseudographs. Such graphs have self loops that represent relation among itself. Eighth, finite graph. These graphs have no number of vertexes and edges, but these can get pretty computationally expensive as they can be thousands of vertexes with millions of edges. Ninth, infinite graphs. As the name suggests, number of vertexes and edges is unknown. Such graphs are computationally expensive, but there are approximation algorithms to find a way around these. Tenth, weighted graphs. Each edge has a certain weight associated with it that represents the cost of traversing that edge. The cost can be in any units depending on the model data. 11th, directed graph. This is also known as a die graph in which the edges have a certain direction to it. 12th and last, undirected graphs. These are very, very similar to the directed graphs with only one difference. The edges do not have a direction for traversal. With complex requirements arise complex issues. Let's have a look at the major graph problems. Structure. Graph is a nonlinear data structure due to which there can be multiple different structures to model the exact same data. The problem is how do we choose the efficient one? Traversal. How do we get from one point or one vertex to another in an efficient manner. With non-standardized structure and methodologies, we need some sort of generalized solution to graph problems. Let's have a look at that solution. Sorry, but given our understanding of mathematics and computer science, a one-stop optimal solution simply doesn't exist. Or at least for now. But there have been certain breakthroughs. Let's learn about those through an interesting and relatable example. Before getting into the traveling salesman problem, TSP for short, and why we are discussing it, there are certain terminologies and concepts that need to be brushed up in order to grasp the concepts better. Let's get started. A few moments ago, we went through a bunch of different types of graphs. For the traveling salesman problem, we will be looking at a complete undirected graph. It is necessary to understand the complexity classes in order to analyze and understand optimization. There are four kinds of complexity classes, namely P, NP, NP complete, and NP hard, each with their own characteristics. The most difficult to solve and verify are the NP hard problems, which may or may not be solved in polynomial time. And even if we have the solution, it is not necessarily possible to verify the solution in polynomial time. Such combinatorial optimization problems are always a part of open-ended researches. TSP is an NP-hard problem and finding an optimal solution would result in possible solution for many such more problems. The NP-complete problems are decision-making problems, whereas the NP-hard problems are optimization problems. Symmetric graph traversal assumption. It is a simple assumption that going from one vertex to another costs the exact same as going back on the same path. This assumption is taken into account while formally defining TSP. Triangle inequality assumption. For three or more vertexes connected to each other, it is assumed that the direct edge between two different vertices 
is the shortest path for traversal. This may not be true for all graph types, but we do make this assumption while formally defining the traveling salesman problem. Minimum spanning tree is a subset of the edges of a connected, edge weighted undirected graph that connects all the vertices together without any cycles and with the minimum possible total edge weight. A Hamiltonian path or traceable path is a traversal in which each and every vertex of a graph is visited exactly once. Let's now formally define the traveling salesman problem or TSP. The traveling salesman problem asks the following question. Given a list of cities and the distances between each pair of cities, what is the shortest possible route that visits each city exactly once and returns to the origin city? The importance of TSP is that it is representative of a larger class of problems known as combinatorial optimization problems. The TSP is also a NP hard problem. If one can find an efficient, that is, polynomial time algorithm to solve or verify the TSP problem, then efficient algorithms could also be found for all other problems in the similar domain. Is TSP just a theoretical concept or can it be seen in real life? Well, there are thousands of real life TSP problems. Let's have a look at some easily relatable ones. The structure on screen represents flight patterns of some of the major airlines worldwide. Now, imagine wanting to take a round trip tour with minimum cost and travel time. Each airport is a vertex, each flight path is an edge, and cost of the tickets is the edge weight. This is a very classic TSP. The structure on screen represents worldwide delivery locations for Amazon. Now imagine international shipping across the globe. Each delivery hub is a vertex, each ground or air shipping path is an edge, and the incurred shipping cost is the edge weight. This is also a TSP. What you can see now is a regular household that we all live in. Now imagine you want to do a few things like heating up food in a microwave, going to the washroom, filling up the water bottle and so and so. Desirably, all these things need to be done in one go and with minimum traveling and in the most efficient time possible. Each task to accomplish is a vertex. Path from one entity to another is an edge and the time required to walk from one point to another is the edge width. This is also a TSP. These problems need an optimal solution as they have a direct impact on our lives. Let's have a look at some of the known methodologies to solve the infamous traveling salesman problem. Coming up first is the simplest of all, the brute force method. In this method, we manually calculate each and every possibility to figure out the most optimal solution. Imagine a complete graph with 20 vertexes like the one presented on the screen right now. This structure alone has roughly 60 trillion possible paths. The amount of time and computational resources required to implement such a solution grows exponentially with the complexity of the graph structure. It is a very naive solution, but is far from being optimal. Just imagine, what will happen when you try to solve the flight path system with brute force methodology? The nearest neighbor method is a bit more smart than brute force. What happens in this method is that we try to move to the nearest possible vertex first and so on.
we can improve upon the nearest neighbor method by using a similar approach known as the greedy method. Instead of measuring the nearest distance from a particular vertex, the perspective has been shifted to all the vertexes at once. The idea is to repeatedly try and add the lowest weight edges to the optimal tour. We first construct a minimum spanning tree from the TSP graph. Next, find all the odd degree vertices and place them in a separate set. Now, connect odd degree vertices using the minimum weight creating an Euler cycle. Remove repeated edges from vertices with a degree greater than 2 to create a Hamiltonian cycle. There you have it, one of the most optimal solutions for TSP. Let's have a quick recap of everything that we have seen so far. We have seen what is a graph data structure, what and why is the traveling salesman problem, and also some of the methods to solve it.